Hello folks, uh, today it is uh, 2011, May, June, paper 2-3, and the question number is 4. It has been asked to me by some uh, subscriber from uh, this, this channel, so I'm answering it. Uh, the question is concerned with the chapter uh, deformation of solids, elastic properties. So the first question says state Hooke's law. So Hooke's law says that uh, the restoring force is uh, directly proportional to the amount of extension produced. Uh, so one number. Now, uh, number B, a spring is compressed by applying a force, applying a force. The variation with uh, compression X of the force F is shown in this graph, figure 4.1. So we can see uh, at uh, X0, F is 0, and uh, increase this proportionally. So calculate the spring constant of this thing. So the spring constant is equal to, it is K is equal to simply the slope of this thing. Yes, so that's equal to. That's equal to change in force by change in extension. So the if I take the whole thing here, so from uh, here to here, the change is uh, 60. This is uh, uh, 50 here, 70 here. So this should be 62. So it is 62 force divided by, let's say f by x here. So then it's equal to 62 divided. Uh, x is, it is 50 millimeter. So it's 50 millimeter is equal to 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters by changing that into SI or MKS. So it gives us uh, 62 divided 50 exponent minus C. So that becomes equal to 1240 Newton per meter. So it is 1240 Newton per meter. Now, number two, show that the work done in compressing the spring by 36 millimeter, 36 millimeter uh, is 0 0.81 joules. So 36 millimeter means that we have uh, um, this thing at 35 here, this is 36, 36. So at 36, the value of uh, force is, force is this much, is this much. So let's calculate the force here. Uh, so this is 40, this is 50, uh, this will be 42, 44, and this thing is exactly in the middle, so it should be 45, 45. So we have uh, work done is equal to, equal to half of the, uh, equal to area of the triangle formed area of the triangle formed triangle and the triangle is shown by this so if I draw like this if I draw like this here like this here like this, like this so, so this is the area of the triangle area of the triangle so I am fully taking uh, taking the hint from the graph to find this thing so that's equal to 1 by 2 into base here base is 36 so 36 is uh, millimeter. So in meters, it is uh, 36 into 10 power minus 3 into the height is equal to 45 newtons. So it is 45. Now, if I do calculations, so 0 0.5 into 36 exponent minus 3 into 45 equal to. So it is exactly, exactly, exactly 0 0.81 joules. So in uh, many, many problems, we have to uh, round it, round them off. But here, there's no need. The answer is exact 0 0.81 joules. Now, in the next question, the next question is, a bit long question this is, full two pages. The next question says that a child uses this spring, the spring that is given here, to shoot a small ball vertically upward. So ball here, spring here, the spring has been compressed. The ball has a mass of 25 grams, so it's equal to uh, 0 0.025 kg kg the toy is shown in figure 42 42 the spring in the toy is compressed by 30 millimeter so 30 millimeter means uh, the extension that we have been given here given here which means energy is this much which means force is uh, 45 and so on so 30 millimeter the spring is released assume all the strain energy in the spring is converted to ke no loss of the ball Using the result in B2, B2 means this thing, B2 means this answer, this answer, calculate the speed with which the ball leaves the spring. So what we have here is, if there is no loss, if there is no loss, the PE stored in the spring is equal to, the work done that we have done, is equal to 0 0.81 joules, and this is fully utilized in creating the KE of this thing. No loss means it is fully utilized to create the KE. Uh, it, it converts to KE, let us say or it gives rise to ke so that's equal to k is equal to 1 by 2 mv square so this gives me v is equal to root 
uh, 2 into 0 0.81 to go here by this mass by this mass so equal to root 2 into 0 0.81 the mass is equal to 0 0.025 so let's do the calculations so what I'll have is uh, 0 0.81 into 2 divided 0 0.025 power 1 by 2 so root means power 1 by 2 so that becomes equal to 8.0498 meter per second so I want to write 3 SF here so it's equal to 8.0005 uh, so it is 8.055 meter per second meter per second number 2 Determine the compression of the spring required for the ball to sleeve the spring with a twice the speed determined here. So the speed is here. We have to make the speed twice and we have to find the compression required for that. So what I have here is the P stored there is equal to 1 by 2 kx square k square which fully converts to the ke and that's equal to 1 by 2 mv square. It means that m is constant for the body, half constant, half k constant. So that means x square is proportional to v square, which further means that x is proportional to v. So that means if I have to have a v double, v double, x also should be double. So if v needs to be double, twice the speed, x also needs to be double. So that means that the new x is equal to, x new is equal to twice of x, and that's equal to 2 into 36 millimeter equal to 72 millimeters so it is 72 millimeters now the last question determine the ratio maximum possible height for compression uh, in one so in one here to maximum possible height for compression in two in two so we have uh, some compression comp uh, compression here which was 36 millimeter so uh, the height for that is something h1 let us say here is s2 we have to compare these two so what we have is what do we have here is now 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 yeah mm, so this height one height one should be equal to equal to v1 square by twice z is the formula from kinematics let us say kinematics similarly this height two is equal to v2 square by twice z z is same for both so therefore h1 by h2 so h1 is the initial height in case one and S2 is the final height in case 2. So, equal to V1 square by 2Z divided V2 square by 2Z. 2Z to Z goes. It goes V1 square by V2 square. So, what we now have is. So, this V2 is twice of this V1. So, this is V square simply. V2 is twice V whole square. So, that's equal to V square by 4V square equal to simply 1 by 4 or 0.25 so the ratio is 0.25 or simply 1 by 4 so that gives the complete answer for this problem